Trinity Matric Higher Secondary School welcomes you all. My name is Purnima. I am taking 4th and 5th standard max. Your first chapter name is Large Numbers. First of all, where and all we are using numbers? In mathematics, math numbers are very important, isn't it? Without numbers, we cannot proceed. So, where and all we are using numbers? Tell me, for example, we are using numbers in clock, isn't it? First of all, clock. So, to find time, here we are using numbers. Then, where and all we are using numbers? We are using numbers in cell phones, isn't it? To dial numbers. Then we are using numbers in TV remote. Then where we are using? We are using numbers in our book itself, isn't it? We are using numbers to find page numbers. Then to find ma in money and in measurement, we are using numbers. So children, where we are using small numbers and large numbers? So small numbers, where we are using the small numbers? For example, in our class, how many students are there? For, that is, for, for example, two digit number. So, in our class, we have 30 or 40. That is two digit number, we can count that. Where we are using large numbers, for example, the number of students in our Indian population, that we cannot count, isn't it? There we are using lakhs or crores. Okay, so today we are going to see large numbers. So children, which is the smallest one digit number is 1 because we should not take 0. So 1 is the smallest one digit number. Smallest two digit number is 10. Smallest three digit number is 100. Smallest four digit number is 1000. Smallest two digit number is 10. Smallest three digit number is 100. Smallest four digit number is 1000. Smallest 5 digit number is 10,000. Smallest 6 digit number is 1 lakh. Smallest 7 digit number is 10 lakh. So, smallest 8 digit number is 1 crore. So, in 5th, 4th and 5th standard, you are going to study about up to 1 crore. Now, children, we are going to see the Indian place value system. So, we are going to write the number names for large numbers using Indian place value system. So, see this, this is Indian place value system. So, here ones, tens, hundreds. These three numbers belongs to ones family or units family. Then thousand and ten thousand belongs to thousand family or thousand periods. Then lakhs, ten lakhs belong to lakhs family or lakhs period. Crore and ten crore belongs to crore family or crore periods. Now, using this Indian place value system, we are going to write the number names for large numbers. So, children, we are going to write the number names for large numbers. So, tell me any seven digit large numbers. You can tell any number. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this is a 7 digit number. We are going to write the number names for this number. So, now first step what we are going to do? We are going to write 1s, 10s, 100s. So, split like this. So, 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000s. Lakh, 10 lakh. So, first split like this. Then you write the number names. So, lakh and 10 lakh belong to lakh family I said. So, you have to write 94 lakhs. Ninety four lakhs thirty six thousand. So three and six belongs to thousand family. So thirty six thousand thirty six thousand seven hundred and seventeen. So once tens hundreds belongs to 
ones family so we have to write 717 so without any spelling mistake you have to write the number names so these number names will be of your three marks and two marks now tell me any eight digit number children so you tell any eight digit number one two three four five six seven eight so this is the eight digit number again we are writing ones tens for this so ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands lakh ten lakh and crore so using this indian place value system we are writing ones tens hundreds thousands now write the number names for this so six crore Forty three lakhs seventeen thousand eight hundred and ten. So now we have written the number names for these two numbers. Now children we are going to write in numbers. They have given the number names we have to write in numbers in, or in figures. So read this 9 crore 99 lakhs 46,701. So for this answer so here what, what is this 9 crore so write 9 crore comma 99 lakhs so 99 lakhs comma then 46000 so 46701 so this is the number name so 9 crore 99 lakhs 46701 and again write the b sum answer 80 lakhs so 80 lakhs comma 79,416 so 416 this is the answer for this sum next we are going to see the successor and predecessor of a number now children we are going to see the successor and predecessor of a number so what is successor what is successor of number? So successor means the next number and predecessor means before number. We have know what is the meaning of pre. Pre means before. So pre, this is before number. This meaning is before. This just opposite to this successor means after number. Okay. So in simple word we can say that successor of a number equal to given number plus 1. We are adding plus 1 to the successor number and predecessor means we are subtracting minus 1. For example you can tell any 7 digit number. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 digit number. Now what is the successor of this number? So I told you successor means after number the next number we are adding plus 1 that is equal to 67 lakhs 16,782. So we are adding just 1 plus 1 is 2. Now what is predecessor of a number? I told you predecessor means we are just subtracting one number from the given number. So predecessor. So tell me any 5 digit number or 6 digit number. So this 6 digit number. So 5 lakh 40,761. So what is the predecessor of this number? Subtract 1. So minus 1. So 5 lakh 
40,760. Okay, this is a pretty rough number. I will give you some of the sums. You work out. Right? The successor and predecessor of a number. A question. So, so for this sum, you have to write both successor and predecessor. So, I told you what successor. Successor means the next number. So, what is the next number of 8? Is 9, isn't it? So, the successor of 8. So, successor is equal to. So, 6,71,679. Now, what is the predecessor of this number? I told you predecessor means before number. We are subtracting one number from this 8. So, subtract 8 minus 1. So, we will get 7, isn't it? So, 6,71,677. This is successor and predecessor of number. So, this will be coming of your one word. Next. We are going to compare the numbers, comparing of numbers using the symbol less than, greater than or equal to. So what is the comparison of large numbers? So what is comparison of large numbers using the symbol less than, greater than or equal to. So what is the less than symbol? We all know that less than symbol is this one. And what is greater than symbol? So greater than symbol is this and equal to. So equal to symbol is equal to we all know that. So using this symbol we are going to compare the large numbers. For example, consider any two numbers, large numbers, okay. Any seven digit or six digit number. So this is a seven digit number. Compare the seven digit number. Sixty seven lakhs sixty seven thousand one hundred and sixty seven or sixty seven lakhs sixty seven thousand one hundred and sixty nine. So which one is bigger? Consider the last three digits here one hundred and sixty seven, one hundred and sixty nine. Which one is greater? Yes, that side. So the that one is greater number. So you have to put greater than symbol. Okay. In other words, for example, how to write gray, less than or greater than symbol, just imagine that which number is bigger, that side should be the symbol is open. Okay? Next, I will give some of the sums children. So next children, we are going to find ascending and descending order of numbers. So consider any three large numbers. I have written three large numbers. First step, you have to arrange in ascending order. So what is ascending order? That is small to big. So small to big. So that is increasing order. Okay. So what is descending order? Decrease. That is big to small. So ascending order means small to big. Arrange the numbers in small to big. So consider these three numbers. So answer, I am going to write the answer for this. Consider the first digit. Here 6, here 7, here 3. So which one is the smallest number? This, that number. So arrange the ascending order. I am going to arrange this in ascending order. So 3 lakh 71,303 is the first number. Then which one is the smallest next one? Yes, this one. So this one is number 1, this one is number 2 and this one is number 3. So 6,71,401. Then here 7,81,404. We have arranged in ascending order. Next descending order.
so descending order i told you small big to small so arrange this just reverse so 7 lakh 81,404 then 6 lakh 71,401 then 3 lakhs 71,303 so already you have learnt ascending and descending order in second standard and third standard itself so you you are well known in this topic next so next children we are going to make smallest and greatest numbers without repeating any digits so i have given some of the digits how many digits are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 i have given six digit from this digit we are going to form smallest number and greatest number okay so first we form smallest number so which one is smallest here so first we have to write 1 you should not write 0 in front of 1 so we have to form no so 1 0 3 4 6 7 we have formed the smallest number 6 digit number then forms greatest 6 digit number just reverse so 7 6 4 3 1 0 so put comma so 1 lakh 3467 7 lakh 64310 is the greatest number this one is the smallest number now from this number b question from this number form smallest number right so first one is 1 then 3 then 5 then 6 then 7 then 9 so we have form smallest six digit number that is 1 lakh 35679 so form greatest seven six digit number so just reverse 9 7 6 5 3 1 so 9 lakh 76,531 okay children that's all for today so next class we are going to see the international place value system for this again we are going to write ascending and descending order predecessor and successor of international system numbers okay thank you